this is Katina and in this product review I am going to check out the original voice amplifier. I really liked this product and I'm going to give you a bunch of the highlights before we jump in. It is small, it is powerful and loud, it is easy to use, it is Bluetooth capable so I can hook it up with my phone. It comes with a headset that's also a Bluetooth hookup, it is rechargeable. This is also rechargeable. I can charge my phone on here through the USB port. It is also waterproof. So if I'm ever outside doing a clinic, all I have to worry about is saving my clarinet. So those are some of the highlights that I really enjoyed, but let's jump into the video for more details. I have to say when I thought of amplifier, I thought of big amplifier and I didn't know how it would apply to how I work as a teacher because when I go to place to place, I'm carrying a bass clarinet and a B flat clarinet and teaching books and I don't want to carry an extra thing. So when the amplifier arrived in a box this small, I was pretty excited. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. We've got our packaging here and right here it says original voice amplifier. I haven't opened this yet either, but I am partial to a nice box, so I do like it when the box is easy to open. Look how little this is. I can fit this in my teaching bag. I could even fit it in the front pocket of my clarinet case. So I'm really excited to try this out because I do a lot of marching band clinics and I'm outside a lot and I don't really have a very big voice, especially for a big field. I can support and project my voice as much as the next gal, but sometimes I need a little bit of extra help. So I am excited to try this for those reasons. I'm going to put some glasses on so I can actually see a little bit better, but there's, there's a clip in the back. So if I want to put it on my pants and walk around, um, I have it there handy, but there's also, it looks like I've got two rings for straps as well. And then over here, I have the little thing where I can plug it in so I don't have to use a lot of batteries. We have a macro SD USB and auxiliary port which is also fantastic, so I can put a USB in here. All right, so there's another little section of the box I'm gonna open and see what we've got here. Yes, so there's a strap. Oh, wow, I've got a USB plug here, so I can plug it in. I can put that in here, and excellent. So now I can recharge this. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a headset. So I really don't have to be hollering at people. And it looks like it's wireless. So let's open this up. And I've actually never used a wireless headset. So now I feel like a real YouTuber. Look at that, wireless headset, here we go. And then I have, oh, this is one of those um, headphone check double things. All right, so we have a little user voice amplifier user manual. So let's check this out and see how loud it goes. All right, I'm going to turn it on by pressing this button in the middle for about three seconds. And there we go. And it's going to play that pretty music. And what I'm going to do is try and hook up the headset first. All right, I'm going to turn this headset on so that we can hook up the Bluetooth. UHF is connected. So I have the headset on now. Oh yeah, I can hear it already. And luckily it's not giving me a lot of feedback when it's this close, especially if I'm going to be wearing it. So to raise and lower the volume, you just press and hold down these buttons here. So I'm lowering it there and I'm raising it there like that. So that's pretty cool that the headset works really, really nicely. I don't have to stream my voice. This is gonna go with me in my bag for all of my lecturing, my clinics that I do, and definitely when I'm coaching sectionals or doing band camp, this is gonna be really, really useful. All right, so that's the headset. The next thing I'm gonna try and check with the Bluetooth with this is using it with my phone. I have it turned on and there should be an M button. Let's see if that works. Bluetooth is waiting for a connection. And I have a pair of requests that came up on my phone. Bluetooth is connected. And I'm connected. I'm gonna try using my metronome on here to see if the metronome will work with the speaker. I really hope it does. It does. That was really loud. The reason why that's really, really helpful is that 
during lessons, a lot of times the volume on the phone does not get loud enough to hear while you're playing, especially if it's an ensemble. So if I have a lot of clarinet players playing, I just can't get this phone loud enough. As we can see, that was really loud and that would be really useful when I'm working with a bunch of clarinet players or even just one-on-one -on -one in lessons. All right, that's really good. Let's check to see if the music works. So I use the tuning CD. I'm gonna pull that up now to see if I can get the tuning CD drone. Considering how loud the metronome was, I am going to lower the volume. Once again, you do it with these buttons here. So I'm just gonna hold that button there down so it's a little bit lower so that I don't hurt myself like I did just now. All right, let's just try concert B flat. Okay. I went the wrong direction. That was really loud, but this is great. Now I have a really small speaker that has a lot of volume and a lot of power in it that I can use in my clarinet lessons and my classes. Honestly, I have been looking for something like this for a really, really long time to have with me and to find something that's so little that fits right in my bag. I'm very, very excited about it. Okay, so the main features that I needed to see were if the metronome worked and if my music app worked and I just used the drone as an example. I also wanted to show you another great feature of the amplifier. We can go ahead and press play again. And then on this side where the charging port is, is another port for a microphone. So I can have my microphone and I can be using my Bluetooth at the same time. So if I wanna do any karaoke or clarinet karaoke, this is gonna work. Okay, let's talk about the controls. The M here changes the mode that you're in. UHF mode. Bluetooth is waiting for a connection. Oh no, I'm not connected anymore. Let me make sure that I'm- Bluetooth is connected. She already took care of it. Okay, so that one is the mode that changes where you are with the mode. And then this here changes the track and also the volume. This is power, play, and pause. This one changes your track and your volume. And this is the record button. So when I'm wearing the headset and I'm speaking into it, I can also record what I'm saying onto an SD card and I can save that for later. We're hooked up to my music app on my phone. I'm gonna hit play. And then this controls the volume. To control the volume, you just hold it down. And then this changes the track just by hitting it lightly once. And then I can hit pause like that and stop it right there. So that's pretty cool. To turn it off, all you do is press the button again in the middle and hold it down. And it sends the sad music and it's all done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see how far the range is on this amp when I leave the room and walk away with my phone. Let's see how far we can go. Okay, I'm going to put the drone on and what we're listening for is how far I can get away without any change in the sound. I'm going to go ahead and hit play and I'm gonna walk away. Okay, the range for me with the Bluetooth on this was about 24 feet. And now I'm gonna see how far the Bluetooth on the headset works. I'm gonna keep talking and I'm talking and I'm talking and then I will come back and see if this works all the way out here with the 24 feet. It worked at that 24 foot range. Now let's see if I can put an external mic on my clarinet and amp that. In addition to all the other features that I told you about, you can also plug in an external microphone to amplify your clarinet. You have two places you can plug in your microphone. You can plug it in in this side over here where the charging port is, which means you can also use the Bluetooth at the same time and do a little bit of clarinet karaoke if you want and play along with some of the music that you have on your phone or YouTube backing tracks, which is really, really fun. And you can also go over to the other side 
and plug it in over here. Just use the plain speaker that way. This is the one that I'm going to use today. I'm going to plug in my microphone. Audio in mode. So we have the audio in mode going on. We've already established that this has a really good Bluetooth connection, so you could probably use your Bluetooth mic as well for amplification, but right now I am going to use one that has a cord. This is a clip-on lapel mic. It's not the greatest mic in the world, but it's what I have handy and I'm going to use it today. I'm going to try and find it because it is a very long cord. I'm going to clip it over here. Usually I clip it around this area, but I'm going to use it on my bell today. And then I am going to once again, walk away and see what the quality of sound is like with this speaker. Okay, so the amplifier works with my clarinet and a clip-on mic. The sound isn't what I quite want, but my microphone isn't the greatest, as I said before. This will definitely work for me in a pinch. There have been many times that I've played outside, weddings, gigs like that, where it's just me, and it would help if I could have a bigger range of sound. So this will work great for that. That's it. Thanks for watching. Comments, questions, post them below. I've really, really enjoyed reviewing this. This turned out to be a lot more fun than I expected it to be. I didn't know I could do so much with an amplifier. And I will put the link in the description if you want to check it out yourself. Thanks. Bye. Set. Which I clearly could not take off.